Okay, in this video, I want to do a Movavi photo editor review for you. I'm going to take you guys through the software, show you how it works. I'm going to do a little demo showing you how to remove a background, replacing it with another background, and going over some of the features of the software and just how to use it. And so the first thing you want to do is go to movtrials.com and where you can download a free trial version of the Movavi photo editor. You want to come up under photo and under photo editor choose whether you want to download it for Windows or for Mac and I do recommend their other products too so if you haven't tried those go through these tabs and check out some of their other tools I actually use quite a few of them but the photo video or the photo editor is one of the ones that I use more frequently just because a lot of my work revolves around photo editing YouTube thumbnails and of the such okay so once you have it downloaded and installed you open it up and this is what you're going to get the first thing you want to do is search for your image that you want to work on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my image. And we're going to pick this one and open it. Okay, so this is our image. And what I want to do is remove this guy from it, or actually remove the background and leave the guy in it. And I'm going to replace the background with a different one. Now, I'll also go over some of the tools that you see up here at the top. I'm not going to go through them all. You can come in here and... Uh, just with the free trial even go through all of these and find out what they are and how they work but I think you'll be pretty impressed with it okay so the first thing we want to do is come up here to where it says change background click on that and what it's going to do is it has these little demos that pop up here and I left this um, unchecked so you guys can see what it does for each step it shows you exactly how to use it which is really cool so the first thing you want to do is you want to come up here and either click the green brush or the red brush now what the green brush does is it tells the software what you want to keep the red brush tells the software what you want to get rid of so what we're going to do first is click the green brush and we can change the brush size if we want to you can see the size of it here and we can also change the boundary uh, smoothness and I'm going to move this up to two and then I'm just going to go around and kind of highlight the edges of the part I want to keep and this just tells the software hey this is the area that I'm looking to keep and so it'll try to work around that okay next what we're going to do is click the red brush and we're going to tell it the area we want to get rid of so what I'm going to do is just kind of come up here around him and go like this and what it's going to do is detect the outline area from the green line area and it's going to remove it so we're going to give it just a minute. Okay. And there it is. It's that easy. You can see the outline. It knew the area that I wanted to keep and it knew the area I want to get rid of. So it just outlined it. Now you can see there's an area here it did not get rid of. So all I have to do is let me take my brush size down and just kind of mark in here. And it's going to detect that area and it's going to get rid of it. So once you've done that, all you have to do is click on next step. And it's going to show you with the background lightened. That way you can see more of the area that you're going to keep and review it before you finalize it. Now you can see up here his hair. It actually took a little more of it uh, than what it should have. So what we can do here is I can come over and if I click the green brush, it's going to... Uh, keep it's going to bring back this area that it took away or if I want to get rid of an area uh, it's going to remove it so I want to keep it on the green one and we're just going to highlight over this area okay and actually there's a little bit here too it looks like okay and I think that's it everything else looks great so what we can do now is go to next step And from here, it's telling us we can replace the background if we want to. You don't have to. In fact, you can save it right now by clicking this green button as a, as a PNG file. And then you can use that for your YouTube thumbnails or whatever image you want to. And it's not going to have a background to it. But what I want to do is go ahead and add a background. And it comes with a few. So if I click on Add Image, you can see there's a few images here. And I'm going to go ahead and select one of these. Okay, and you can see it put the background in there. Now all I want to do is resize him just a little bit. And zoom in. 
I use the scroll wheel on my mouse. You can zoom in and out, which makes it really nice. And then from here, you can adjust colors to background, which tries to blend the colors in uh, to make it look more like the image. Uh, usually I don't do too much with this because it's not always 100% accurate. What I'll do is I'll come up here and click apply to save it. And then I will come up to retouching and I can edit some stuff from here. You can see here, this is really neat. This is how you can really clean up pictures. You can do stuff like skin smoothing, wrinkle remover, shine removal, blush foundation. There is so much stuff you can do here. You got hair collar you can change. I can highlight his hair and then just go through different collars and change them and it'll it'll show them with different colors of hair. You can slim your face, uh, teeth whitening. So there's all different kinds of things you can do here that are really, really cool without having to learn a tool like Photoshop, which makes this so, so great. And it's, I think it's tools like uh, $30, $40, something like that. And also, before I forget to mention, I may have a coupon code below this video in the description box. Frequently, they do offer coupons. So if they do, make sure you check down there for it so you can save yourself an extra, I don't know, 10, 15, 20%, uh, whatever it may be. And so if you have the trial version, you'll have a button up here somewhere, I think that just says activate, and you go there and you, and you click on it to, to purchase it, and then just enter that coupon code and you can buy it and get, um, so where you can save it without a watermark and remove all the restrictions from the free trial. Okay, but moving back to the picture here, so we have all these options we can go through. We can object removal, you can just pick out individual objects here to remove. Uh, which is pretty neat. You can crop your image, you can add text to it, you can choose your text, the opacity, you can rotate it, really neat stuff here. Denoise, you can remove noise from images. Restore, so if you have old photos with lines, wrinkles, and crinkles, and all that stuff, you can remove those with it. You can insert images, you can rotate images and then the effects is really nice. I love this and my, my favorite is one called dramatic. So if I click it, it's going to entirely change the image to a different color appearance and it also changes him and he blends in right in with it. And I love this one and there are tons and tons of different kinds of filters, effects and textures you can use. So you go up here and click on uh, where it says popular, you can choose which ones you want to try. Or if you're just uh, feeling like you're not sure what you want to do, you can come up here and you can click surprise me. And what it'll do, it'll randomly just pick one for you just to see if you like it or not. And so it'll go through. And then when it does that, it brings up all these different ones here. You can go down and look through. And there's just so many of them. But I really love this tool. Um, there's just so many things you can do with it with your images. So I usually keep it on the popular. And dramatic is the one that I use more than any other. And then what you can do is you come up here and you can click on before and after and you can really see the comparison from the original image you created to the one you just now made. And then to save it, all you do is come down here and click on save, give it a name, you can the file type, whether you want it to be JPEG, PNG, TIFF or whatever you want. Where you want to save it, you can remove GPS data. You can also uh, go to your metadata, metadata settings and you can remove all the settings from there. You can create the author comments and other things. So that is about it for this. You can set your quality also for the image type. Go through, download that trial. It's at movtrials.com. You can go there, check it out. And they have a lot of other great tools there too you may be interested in just downloading and, and playing with. I use a lot of their tools they have, uh, but this is one of my favorite for editing photos. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you get notifications of more videos when I upload them. Thanks.